I mean, like people forget before the SEC got involved and said that ETH is not a security, XRP was the second most valuable digital asset. Wow. That was and that wasn't that long that ago. That wasn't long ago. What, three, four years? It was 2018 when okay, Hinman gave ago. his speech. So six years, a little less than six years ago. Yeah. Five, yeah. five years and change. And you know, look, when a government actor gets involved, you know, markets change and maybe that, that's to be expected. Yeah. Unfortunately, you still have that government actor involved. Unfortunately, you still see, and I, I believe what I read usually, mm -hmm. you know, look, it, it appears the SEC is trying to mount a case against ETH. Hey, hey, everybody. It's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. And yes, Brad Garlinghouse, the Ripple CEO on the channel called World Class, uploaded about 15 hours ago. Very popular on X being shared. Many, many clips from about 58 minutes. This is a small channel, only 543 subs. But I think it's someone that Mr. Garlinghouse knows on somewhat of a personal level. As they talk about uh, how the last time they had dinner together and yeah there was some even personal sides in this interview it was combined with a few questions about ripple and i'm going to put a link to it in the description of this video so the market today for the most part is in the red xrp is sitting at 50 cents i'm really hoping for a 46 cent entry Bitcoin off 3.2% on the 24 hours, sitting at about 60,000 and some in that mid range. But boy, in this video, we have some surprising news from Wells Fargo. XDC is also getting very aggressive in a good way. And XRP, I want to tell you, we should leave it to the professionals. I'll explain. And a lot of news coming out of SBI Holdings today who had their financial results in a presentation to shareholders by the CEO, Mr. Kitao, who is also the proud owner of Ripple Shares. He is the largest outside shareholder of Ripple and an advocate for not only XRP, but the digital asset XDC. And first up is about Wells Fargo, the third largest bank in the United States, disclosed that it's holding spot Bitcoin ETF holdings. Yes, from Grayscale and also a share of Bitcoin Depot, which is the largest Bitcoin ATM provider. And a little bit of the Bitcoin mining operation called BitFarms. And lastly, they have some ETF shares of Bitty the short Bitcoin strategy ETF by ProShares. One of the Ripple partners that is tasked with finding more developers and builders is Easy A, and they are going to have a new hackathon in Amsterdam at the same time Apex is taking place. They're going to offer $20,000 in awards. Let's see, let's go down here and take a look. This event welcomes all coders, and if you're coding, you'll be building on the XRP ledger. You can expect some live panels led by experts actually from Ripple at the forefront of Web3, and you can ask away any of the questions you might have. The competition will take place over 36 hours to solve a problem, and then you're going to be able to present your solution on Demo Day. Along with the $20,000 prize money, they have grants up to 200000 And these grants come equity free. That's important. And there will be Web3 recruiters and VCs present at the event so that there can be some maybe matchmaking for future scaling. Wow, we have a big announcement coming from Genfinity. They're going to be supporting and working with the XDC network. How cool is that? I'm a big fan of XRP and XDC, and Tenity is a partner of both Ripple and the XDC network. We learned that Tenity is going to launch an accelerator program for XDC. They have a pretty impressive global strategic partner list, UBS, SIX, 
Franklin Templeton, Visa, the XRP Ledger, and so on. The XDC Accelerator program is going to last 12 weeks. It's located in Singapore, and they're really searching throughout the APAC region and want to also bring in some talent from Japan. They too will have a grant, $100,000, and again, no equity taken. You know, this company, Tenity, is very interesting. They're global. They have hubs in Zurich, Singapore, Tallinn, Madrid, Istanbul, and London. And not only do they provide the industry mentorship, but they coach and they have pitch training and a matchmaking with investors. So this particular accelerator program is going to focus on real world assets, trade finance, AI and crypto, game finance, and staking. And they place you with a team of professionals. And transitioning over to SBI, I will tell you that SBI VC Trade is the only exchange in Japan that offers the digital asset XDC. From the SBI presentation today, we learned that preparations are underway for the establishment of a joint venture with Circle. It'll be interesting to see if this joint venture does come to fruition, will they support the Ripple stablecoin? In addition to a lot of this news that came out today with SBI, they've started a node operation as an XRP ledger validator, contributing to the development of the ecosystem. I think it's great. They aim to be one of the validators that are approved to vote and take place in the amendments. And they have plans to disseminate that information to the XRP holders in Japan and create uh, a, a consensus, if you will, based on surveys uh, in order to make decisions that are appropriate and constructive, constructive for the ecosystem. Um, quite interesting. I think they've been um, late to the party in doing this, but it's, I guess, better late than never. And I wonder if this is the start to maybe be the entity that will take over the, the hub that is being operated by Alloy Networks. That's a critical part of the infrastructure. It's very expensive to run. So I would imagine that the SBI VC trade, if they become an integral part of the validator system and, and can reach that um, approval of, of, uh, of being able to vote, yeah, I would imagine they would consider replacing the hub when Alloy finally steps away. I hope so, because that is something that the XRP ledger really needs. They can't just rely on the one hub that Ripple is operating. So it's yet to be seen, but um, yeah, I think this is all really great news. And last, I've got a clip for you, just 30 seconds. I know it's gonna be difficult, but I want you to guess what it is that Mr. Kitao is talking about, because for me, of all the news that came out of this camp today, this is the biggest. Have a listen. ETF, ETF, で、我々ももう近々暗号資産を組み込んだようなETFをやってるところと提携をしていくと、ジョイントベンチャーを作るということの今相談をしてますけれども、アメリカの会社ですけれども、そういうことをやり、それをもう一つ大きな成果に結び